To explore the forests of the Outer Hebrides, you must go underwater. An unbroken canopy of kelp stretches from here far to the north, covering an area equivalent in size to Glasgow. Like the Caledonian pine forest and the Atlantic oak woodlands of mainland Scotland, the forests here are vitally important areas for wildlife, shelter and climatic regulation. This is the kelp forest of the Outer Hebrides, an incredibly important and rich resource for both people and wildlife alike. The kelps are a family of large leathery brown seaweeds that grow well in the nutrient-rich, tide-swept waters of the west coast. The clarity of the water here to the north of Fiarai allows the algae, which depends on sunlight, to grow at much greater depths than is usual elsewhere in Scotland. This forest plays a critical role in absorbing some of the energy from Atlantic storms and waves that would otherwise devastate the coastline. There is an extraordinary amount of diversity in the marine life living amongst the kelp. The forest offers shelter to fish and other animals, but also provides a huge amount of organic matter to the marine and coastal environment, which is a key component at the base of the ecosystem's food chain. This rich habitat is the perfect foraging ground for lobster fishermen and predators like the harbour seal. The seal is perfectly adapted for hunting underwater. She cruises above the forest canopy, searching for fish, octopus and other prey. Sensitive whiskers, eyes and hearing are all attuned to pick up the merest vibration, glimpse or sound in her pursuit of a meal. Unlike whales and dolphins, seals need to return to land in the late summer to give birth and molt, and the relatively sheltered waters of the Sound of Barra provide many ideal places where they can haul out undisturbed. In recent years, seal numbers have declined. However, the Sound remains one of the best places to view harbour seals in Scotland.